axolotls, the iconic Mexican salamanders, have captured the hearts and imaginations of people around the world. With their unique appearance, regenerative abilities, and quirky behaviors, these fascinating creatures have become a beloved icon of the animal kingdom. In this video, we'll explore the world of axolotls, learning about their natural habitat, diet, reproduction, and care requirements. Whether you're a seasoned axolotl owner or just curious about these amazing amphibians, this video has something for you so, let's begin! How long do axolotls live? Axolotls are fascinating creatures that are native to Mexico and have become increasingly popular as pets in recent years. One of the most impressive things about axolotls is their relatively long lifespan for a salamander species. With proper care, axolotls can live for up to 10 to 15 years in captivity, although some have been known to live for up to 20 years or more. The lifespan of an axolotl is influenced by several factors, including genetics, diet, water quality, and overall care. Axolotls are relatively hardy and can tolerate a range of water conditions, but they are sensitive to toxins and pollutants in their environment. Therefore, it is essential to keep their tank clean and provide them with appropriate filtration and water changes. Axolotls are also carnivorous and require a protein-rich diet. They are opportunistic feeders and will eat a variety of live or frozen foods, including bloodworms, brine shrimp, and earthworms. However, it is important not to overfeed them as obesity can lead to health problems and a shorter lifespan. In the wild, axolotls face a variety of challenges that can impact their lifespan. Habitat destruction, pollution, and predation are among the most significant threats to their survival. As a result, axolotls in the wild generally have a shorter lifespan than those in captivity. What do axolotls eat? Axolotls are carnivorous and require a protein-rich diet to thrive. They are opportunistic feeders and will eat a variety of live or frozen foods, including bloodworms, brine shrimp, and earthworms. They will also eat small fish or amphibians if given the opportunity. In captivity, axolotls can be fed a variety of commercial pelleted or frozen foods that are formulated specifically for them. It is important not to overfeed axolotls, as obesity can lead to health problems and a shorter lifespan. A good rule of thumb is to feed them once a day or every other day, and to only give them as much food as they can eat in 5 to 10 minutes. Young axolotls require more frequent feedings than adults, as they are growing rapidly. It is also essential to provide axolotls with a varied diet to ensure that they are getting all the necessary nutrients. This can be achieved by offering them different types of food on a rotating basis, such as bloodworms one day, brine shrimp the next, and earthworms the day after that. Another important consideration when feeding axolotls is the size of the food. Axolotls have small mouths and can only eat food that is smaller than the width of their head. It is also important to avoid feeding them anything that is too hard or sharp, as it can damage their delicate digestive system. How big do axolotls get? In terms of their size, axolotls are relatively small compared to other types of salamanders. On average, adult axolotls typically grow to be between 9 to 12 inches in length, although some can reach up to 18 inches in rare cases. Their bodies are long and slender, and they have distinctive frilly external gills on either side of their head, which they use to breathe underwater. Axolotls can grow rapidly during their first year of life, reaching up to 6 inches in length within a few months. However, their growth rate tends to slow down as they get older. The size of an axolotl can also be influenced by factors such as genetics, diet, and environmental conditions. Can axolotls regrow their limbs? Yes, axolotls have the remarkable ability to regrow their limbs, as well as other body parts such as their spinal cord, heart, and even parts of their brain. This ability to regenerate is one of the most remarkable features of the axolotl, and it has fascinated scientists for many years. Axolotls are able to regrow their limbs because of their unique ability to reprogram their cells. When an axolotl loses a limb, the cells at the site of the injury revert to a more immature state, similar to stem cells. These cells then begin to divide and differentiate into the various cell types that make up the missing limb, ultimately resulting in the regeneration of a fully functional limb. The regeneration process in axolotls is complex and involves many different signaling pathways and cellular processes. 
researchers are studying axolotls to better understand the mechanisms behind regeneration with the hope of one day being able to apply this knowledge to help humans regenerate damaged tissues and organs. In addition to their ability to regenerate lost limbs, axolotls are also able to heal wounds quickly and without scarring. This is due to their unique immune system, which is able to identify and clear away damaged tissue while promoting the growth of new tissue. In summary, axolotls have the remarkable ability to regrow their limbs, as well as other body parts, due to their unique ability to reprogram their cells. This ability has fascinated scientists for many years and is the subject of ongoing research. The knowledge gained from studying axolotls may one day be used to help humans regenerate damaged tissues and organs. What is the difference between male and female axolotls? In general, it can be difficult to tell the difference between male and female axolotls just by looking at them, especially when they are young. However, there are a few physical and behavioral differences that can help you distinguish between male and female axolotls. In some cases, male axolotls may grow slightly larger than females, although this is not always a reliable indicator of to see if it's a male or female. One way to determine the sex of an axolotl is to look at their cloaca, which is the opening where they excrete waste and reproductive cells. In males, the cloaca is longer and more pointed, while in females it is shorter and more rounded. During the breeding season, male axolotls will often exhibit courtship behaviors such as nipping at the female's tail and rubbing their chin on her body. Females may also display a receptive posture by raising their tails and allowing the male to approach them. If a female axolotl is carrying eggs, you may be able to see them through her skin. The eggs will appear as small, dark spots on her abdomen. It's worth noting that these physical and behavioral differences can be subtle, and it can be difficult to determine the sex of an axolotl without close observation or genetic testing. If you are unsure of the sex of your axolotl, it's best to consult with a veterinarian or an experienced axolotl breeder for guidance. How do axolotls mate? Axolotls are aquatic salamanders that reproduce sexually, with males and females mating to produce offspring. The mating process of axolotls is a fascinating and intricate process that involves courtship, fertilization, and egg laying. During the breeding season, which typically occurs in the spring and summer, male axolotls will begin to display courtship behaviors to attract females. This may involve nipping at the female's tail, rubbing their chin on her body, and performing a dance to display their colorful bellies. Female axolotls will typically respond to these behaviors by raising their tails and allowing the male to approach them. Once the male has successfully courted the female, fertilization can occur. Male axolotls will deposit packets of sperm, called spermatophores, on the substrate or other objects in the water. The female will then pick up these packets with her cloaca, where they will fertilize the eggs. After fertilization, the female axolotl will lay her eggs in a suitable location, such as on aquatic plants or other objects in the water. The eggs are usually laid in small clusters and are attached to the substrate by a sticky outer layer. The eggs of axolotls typically take around 10 to 14 days to hatch, depending on the water temperature. Once the eggs hatch, the young axolotls, called larvae, will feed on small aquatic invertebrates until they are large enough to eat larger prey. Can axolotls swim? Axolotls are excellent swimmers and spend most of their time in the water. They are adapted to an aquatic lifestyle and have several adaptations that make them well-suited to life in the water. Axolotls have a long, slender body with a flat tail that they use to propel themselves through the water. They also have four short legs that are positioned at right angles to their body, allowing them to swim with a side-to-side -side motion that is highly efficient for moving through water. Additionally, they have large, feathery gills that extend from the sides of their head and allow them to extract oxygen from the water. Despite their strong swimming abilities, axolotls are not strong swimmers over long distances, and they prefer to live in still or slow-moving water. In the wild, they can be found in lakes, ponds, and canals, where they live on the bottom and swim short distances to forage for food or find a mate. In captivity, axolotls are often kept in aquariums with plenty of space to swim, as well as plants and other decorations that provide them with cover and hiding places. It's important to provide axolotls with a suitable environment that meets their needs for swimming and other behaviors to ensure that they remain healthy and happy. What sounds do axolotls make? Axolotls are generally quiet animals and do not produce any vocalizations, so they do not make any sounds that we can hear. 
However, they do communicate with each other through a variety of visual and chemical signals. For example, during the breeding season, male axolotls may use their sense of smell to locate females that are ready to mate. They can detect the pheromones released by the female through the water and will follow these signals to find her. Axolotls can also use visual signals to communicate with each other. For example, during courtship, males may exhibit elaborate displays of their colorful bellies and dance around the female to attract her attention. Despite their lack of vocalizations, axolotls are fascinating creatures with a unique set of behaviors and adaptations that allow them to thrive in their aquatic habitat. Can axolotls change color? Axolotls can change color in response to various stimuli such as stress, injury, temperature, or light. They have the ability to change the intensity and pattern of their skin coloration through a process called metachrosis, which involves the redistribution of pigments in their skin. When an axolotl is stressed or frightened, for example, it may become darker or lighter in color, depending on the individual. This can serve as a form of camouflage, allowing the axolotl to blend in with its surroundings and avoid detection by predators. Axolotls can also change color during the breeding season, with males displaying brighter and more vivid colors to attract females. Females, on the other hand, may become paler or more subdued in color as they prepare to lay their eggs. In addition to changes in coloration, axolotls can also display other visual cues to communicate with each other, such as the use of body posture, movements, and gestures. These signals can convey a range of information about the axolotl's mood, health, and reproductive status to other individuals in their environment. Can axolotls survive outside of water? Axolotls are fully aquatic animals and are adapted to living in water. While they can survive for short periods of time outside of water, they are not well suited for a terrestrial lifestyle and can suffer from various health issues if kept out of water for too long. When axolotls are out of water, they are at risk of dehydration and overheating, which can lead to stress, organ damage, and even death. Additionally, their gills, which are essential for breathing underwater, can dry out and become damaged when exposed to air. It's important to note that axolotls are not capable of breathing air like some amphibians, such as frogs, and they rely entirely on their gills to extract oxygen from the water. This means that they cannot survive outside of water for extended periods of time without risking serious harm to their health. If you need to handle an axolotl, it's important to do so gently and with care, and to ensure that it remains moist and cool throughout the process. If an axolotl is accidentally removed from water, it should be placed back in water as soon as possible to prevent dehydration and other health issues. Thank you for watching this video on axolotls. I hope you found it informative and learned something new about these amazing creatures. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos on interesting and unique animals. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts, questions, or suggestions for future videos. We always love to hear from our viewers and appreciate your feedback. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.